All right, so it's been a long time since we've actually done anything relating to couples therapy, but we were having so much fun with this game. Uh, I'll use fun loosely, but more fun making fun of it, that is. Uh, anyway, so we're going to play Hello Kitty Cruisers. And I'm actually kind of excited for this because uh, I'm a lifelong Sanrio fan, and um, Aaron actually went to the Sanrio store in Japanese Village in LA recently, brought back some Hello Kitty goodness, and we visited a Hello Kitty food truck about a year ago, so we've been doing a lot of Hello Kitty events lately, so I saw this game and I was really excited to try it out. And I've heard it's not good. But it's well, we, we've already experienced it. It's not that good. We've played long enough so I can unlock Tuxedo Sam, which happens to be my most favorite Sanrio character. So I'm happy with Good Boy here. We we call him the Good Boy, yes. We can both be Good Boys. No. Okay. Uh, Bad Bats Maru is tempting, but I think I'm just going to be Hello Kitty because she's a cutie. Okay, we'll go with Hello Kitty. We can change their skins, you know. Yeah, I don't really care for <gasps> But like, you could have Tuxedo Sam in an actual Tuxedo. Like a butler outfit and then a sailor. I love the overalls. That's classic Kitty. So we've already played the first tour, just long enough to unlock Tuxedo, like Aaron was saying. So do you want to play the second tour, or do you want to yeah, go to the first? Yeah, see who else it unlocks, Perfect. I guess. Perfect. Look at this. That's like a, like a play school no, <laughs> plane I mean, or something. All of them look like it to some degree. It looks somewhat like the tornado, but not too much. All right, I'm going to go with the play school uniform here. That's a rough loading screen. Like I said, the whole game feels like a really terrible Flash game. At least it's cute. Yeah, and I'll give it credit for running at, I think, 60 frames per second. I'm not... Look at Mount Rushmore! Why is there no skybox? It's just black. What an ominous... <laughs> like... It's... Hello Kitty Apocalypse. Yeah, it's just a <laughs> black... Impending. They forget to render that in. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So this is kind of a neat little gimmick, is you can take off in the plane and fly around, and yes, I know, Mario Kart has something similar. Well, my original comparison was that this is very similar to uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Right. Which, you know, had, the, had water vehicles, it had air vehicles, and it had land vehicles. And that game is pretty solid. I'm, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of that game. I know it has quite a bit of a cult. Oh, my God. pom pom Perine's just going. <laughs> I guess to poop. <laughs> oh, never mind. That, that was quick. Oh, wait. I don't know if, like, do the... You hear, do you hear the brake squeal when you oh, throw B, on the... B. Oh. Yeah, do, I don't... Do you hear the brake squeal when you use the drift function? Oh, there is a boost. What is it? You just gotta get it. Oh. Now I'm just farting out as a plane here. <laughs> This is so beautiful. I like it. Oh, just, it is, and I'm aesthetically just aesthetically so pleasing. Why? If Tuxedo oh, 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 Sam oh. is not using his flippers. Wait, did he use Mount Kitty more over there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna leave some traffic cones in the air now. Do they actually float or do they fall? I don't know. I, is, oh, they I just, it just, you just poop cone. I don't, I was like, I don't think there's a rear view like, mirror option here. Well, that's rough. When we were playing earlier, I was on your tail so close that you could actually see my big bulbous kitty head on your oh, yeah. screen. I, I was, was so I was, funny. I was pointing out how ridiculous Hello Kitty's head looks. Oh, it's bulbous. It's, yeah, I mean, it's comedically <laughs> oversized, just sticking out of just this little, little tiny play school plane. It's so cute, though. She's kawaii. I love her little minimalist features. She's adorable. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's one of the things that I love about all the Samuel characters. That's why I love Tuxedo Sam. He's just got little dot eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. These eyes. cones are just floating on, on clouds. Okay, that, that, that's, that's kind of cute. It is cute. The whole thing is cute. But that's why I bought the well, game. I, it's uh, cute. Yeah, but I was just expecting them to just cheap out and the cones would just be sitting there. Oh, like, they are just sitting there. Yeah, they are, but they're on clouds. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, at least cute. you give it an explanation. It's a nice touch. How did I get in 10th place? When we were playing earlier, I was in second every time. But now that I have to multitask, I'm, I'm horrible. Meanwhile, I'm still just in first. You always win. Yeah. This is a thing. I could pick up a terrible game and still be good at it. Yeah, well. It, meanwhile, you're reading the back of the box where I'm just puttering around in last well, year. Yeah, because it's all in, like, Spanish, you know. I, I know, in el aire. Competite con hello kitty why sus amigos de Sanrio. Pretty sure that wasn't right. So, well, um, it's, it's kind of, boards up. Oh, well, it's kind of like how I've been looking over at that uh, that that Big Mac placemat, and I've just been. Do you want to tell the story about the the German Big Mac placemat? Y yeah. Because you started it now. Well, it's. I, I guess I can throw up a photo if I'll remember. Um, so we went to one of our local Goodwills, and Helen 
brought up the fact that she's like, well, I found something that you might not even have known that you wanted. And she was right. I, the last thing I would have expected was this. So what they are is they're, I, I didn't like trace their era, but I believe they're from 1960s, 1970s yeah. German McDonald's. And they're just advertisement placemats. Uh, I gave a couple to my dad because he was born and raised over in Germany. So, um, yeah, I've just been kind of looking at the German text and reading and shouting it and my, like, a horrible <laughs> not understanding mad scientist. German. No, not, not, not the, the mad scientist. It's not the, thank you, doctor. No, it's not, not that one. It, it's, I've been looking over, it's like, das Riesending! Like, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Probably not. Probably not, no. But I feel like even your orders at McDonald's in German should shield. still be angry. Alright. I like how the brakes squeal and it sounds like you're burning rubber even when you're in a boat. No, that that's time... not I was like that's not a thing to be proud about. That's just that, that was sarcasm. Oh, I was like That's, that's another just... foreign language you're not good at. No, I'm, I'm quite good at that. Thank you. But uh, do you remember the last time we went for a ride in the boat and we had to come to a sudden stop and it made terrible screeching noises on the water? Oh, yeah. Me either. <laughs> All right, here still comes some cones. Mm, there's a cinema roll to cut you off there. Jerk. Meanwhile, like I'm looking cinema at... cinema roll, I... get the heck out. Wait, that no, I don't. Don't even try. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just looking at the map and seeing how far along I am. You know, uh... Is it... Wait, am I going the right way? Okay, yeah, I almost turned myself around. Imagine if there were, like, some... You know what this really needs is ramps. Like, something... I was playing Hydro Thunder the other day. You mean... And it just... It, it could use anything? Oh, let's just focus on the ramps. <laughs> There's yeah, a laundry there, list. The... Oh, pie physics. Here, oh, yes, did you see... Wait, did you, did actually you see hit me someone? smoke? It was somebody. Who was... Who's that in front of me? Oh, he's like the Kappa character. Tom like. Pomperine? No, he's blue. He's the little Kappa character that I can't think of the name for. Oh, his name is on screen. Who the? Oh, you won again. This sucks. I'm so confused. I thought pe people were going backwards. Like, I I wasn't quite sure what I was looking at here. Can I overtake? Who is that in front of me? Chocolate Cat? Oh, he's so good. He's very... Oh, okay. Fourth. That's fine. He's so tubby, he doesn't even fit in the boat. He's so cute. That's weird, they just call him Purine instead of Pom Pom Purine. Hey, but they give cinema. Hang you on. That's the character. Hang you on? Yeah, sure. Sure. Alright. Okay. I wonder who we're gonna unlock next. I really hope it's Pochaco. He's such a good boy. Oh, look at this little car. Oh, my face is on my car. That's. Oh, that is play school. Oh, I love that horrible, like, Brazil. That one? Yeah, it's What's, like Brazilian it's flag It's like something colors. out of 1990s Nickelodeon or something. I wish we had something to look at during the loading oh, yeah, the, A dancing why, Sanrio oh. character? Or... That's kind oh, of Oh, this vortex. I see we still got the space floating, potatoes. Yeah, floating space potatoes. <laughs> Oh, this one's go. actually just... Oh my gosh! Look at my screen! Okay, you can see Cinema Roll, I believe that's her name. Her ears are flapping in the wind. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's... That's so cute. Ear physics are good. Ear physics, 10 out of 10. Yeah, that is Cinema Roll. Where am I going? Like, I There's got... a giant clump of critter here. Get out of the way. You're the bad penguin. I'm the good one. Wait, wait. Oh! That is Bad Bats Maru, you know. Oh. Do you know his, oh. his name literally means right, wrong? I saw that. Oh, the other so day. that's what that thing does. What what thing does? Um, the uh, that's a booster panel. No, the um, the weird cyclones they pull you towards the walls. The little cotton candy looking things. Yeah. Um, okay. Now watch this. This, this is the worst clock. power up in the game. Yeah, like, it's it, awful. It, it's, it's like just... a terrible version of the lightning strike from Mario Kart. Except for it doesn't it doesn't shrink well, you. It just slows you. Yeah, down. Yeah, it just slows you down, which makes the game it unbearable. Lag. Yeah, like no, well, not a lag, but it's like well, a the slowdown game's already, that doesn't work. As like the game's already like playing Mario Kart at 25 cc. Like it's not good. As as pointed out, there is literally no acceleration. It's on or off. You just flick the switch or you're going. It's... Is there a difficulty setting? Like, can we ramp up the difficulty of the racers? Because you've come in first every time without even, like, Yeah, and you came in 10th the last one or something like that. That's, well, that's because I'm still learning how to fly an airplane. My license is... It's... No, there's no difficulty. It's literally just... Go. Yeah. Hit A. Like, you start the game. I'm not saying that games where you just hit A are bad. Oh, no. No. But there's a way to do oh, it. Oh, can you to... stop spinning? Hey, 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 oh, oh, I'm gonna try to get my big old head in your screen. Hold on, I'm no. right behind you. 
No, I gotta win. It's my win streak. I'm still on a perfect game here. I'm gonna take it from you. I'm right behind you. Oh, not if I play like that, though. I just keep expecting, like, a blue shell to come up and nuke you, but then I remember we're not playing a very good game. Yeah, if we were playing Mario Kart, you would be in last. Not necessarily. When I played with the students in my classroom, I won. Well, oh. that's stacking the deck. But I remember distinctly <laughs> whenever we played uh, and Mario Kart. Gone. Whenever we played Mario Kart as, uh, as a family, when I brought out the Switch. Um, it was basically, I was... <gasps> oh, man, I was right behind you. Yeah, a good three seconds behind me. Um, but it was basically... You're in control. Yeah, it was basically like... I'm going to come in first. Oh, look at this and then battle it was just, plane. It was a battle royale for whoever comes in not first. Basically. I'd really like some dancing Sanrio characters there or something to look at, you know? You know, they said this game was was bad. But you know the funny thing? is, It's one of the most valuable games on the Wii U. Like, it's one of the rarest. It's one of the most expensive. But... Well, I mean... Good doesn't mean. Oh, rare. I know that. Not every game's gonna be an Earthbound or a Chrono Trigger, because oh, yeah. like, what is it? The the most rare game on the Dreamcast is a s college sports title or something. Yeah, it's like um, Sega Sports 2000 and like three or something, because the it was discontinued in like 2001 or 2000. No, it was like dis discontinued in like 2002 or 2003. So it was like a super late release or something like that. I don't quite remember. But, um, you know what's funny is, I couldn't believe they ported this game over to Switch, but I wonder if they were, like, they caught wind that everybody wanted this game simply because it was rare, and then, like, the developers actually <laughs> thought it was a good game, yeah, they're like, they we're gonna port it to Switch! brought it over for all the wrong reasons. Right. It, it, sadly, it was infamous, not necessarily known for its superb gameplay. Oh, at least I can go over these little bridgey things. Now, this is something that I'm not entirely keen on, but... I like this level better. I, I don't think that there's a lot of... Is there not a lot of, like, Sanrio Video games? games? Yeah. Well, the problem is a lot of the Sanrio games are those typical games for girls, where it's like, design oh. a dress, go shopping, make some food. Yeah, here, I just, like, I just oh. laughed at everybody. Like, I found one on the DS at the Goodwill a couple months ago. It was sealed, and so I bought it, popped it in. It was a typical game for girls, and it's still sitting on my shelf with, like, five minutes of playtime on it. You know? Yeah. It's not an actual, like, platformer or racer like this is. I mean, at least this is somewhat, somewhat redeemable. Hey, Tor 3. Who have we unlocked now? Uh, um, I guess we gotta go back. Remember yeah. earlier when you couldn't find the back? See, there is a back. Who is that? Kurumi? Oh, yeah, we're not gonna get Pachaco. It's it's the people that are already in the game. So that oh. means we'll get Ooh. Hanging Don, whatever. Uh, Hi, yeah, Kappa guy. Yeah. Our melody is it. cute. Okay, I'm gonna switch to... Oh, Ooh. and uh, Cinema Roll. Oh, that's right. Alright. Oh, that's cute. Oh, he gonna be naked, though. I like how Tuxedo's hand just bobbing back and forth. He's so pleasant. Oh, we unlock more cars, I guess, but they look but all the same. They all look like Hot Wheels. Um, I guess I'll be pink again. I like no, pink. they don't look like Hot Wheels. They're like Power Wheels. Yeah, you know, play little, school. Little, no, Power Wheels, like the battery-operated cars oh, you get yeah. as a kid. Did you have one of those as a kid? Yeah, and they're stupid plastic wheels. That's so lucky. I wanted one of those so bad. Mine was, like, mine was a Power Wheels Bigfoot. Dang. Yeah, it was cool, because, you know, I, it wasn't until later that I learned that Bigfoot has kind of actually started out as a local thing, because Bigfoot is from Missouri. Get out. Yeah, that's the, the monster truck franchise. Ah, uh, couples uh, therapy location confirmed. <laughs> um, oh, where am I going? Where am I going? This is like the bullet bill equivalent. Oh, God. What power oh. was that? Oh, I, I just got knocked out by a space potato, and now I'm in last. Why? Here I go again. Whoa. <laughs> what power up was that? It's a rainbow. It just you go. Oh my god! <sighs> Stupid space potato knocked me out. Um. So. Wait a minute. Are these all the same tracks? No. Oh, there's they're, a they're, planet now. So they're all the same theme. They're just slight slightly. Oh, look at the constellations. That's my. What are they called? The little twin stars. Yeah. In the constellations, Sanrio people will know what I'm talking about. It's like a little set of twins. They're Sanrio character. I don't know. I, I don't know. Never mind. Uh, 
the cock again. One thing I'd like to watch with you on Netflix is Agret Suko, the new uh, one about the red oh, panda who yeah. loves metal and hates her customer service job, or something like that. Looks yeah. cute. And the space potato just knocked me out again. Speaking of weird Japanese things, that reminds me of how we sat around and watched all, like, 20 Domo Oh, that was mini so fun. Series. And then I was in D O M O for like a month. They're only like a minute long, but we just sat there and watched all of them. Watched the whole disc. Yeah, that's great. Well, the next show we're going to watch together is Hamtaro, but I have to find them online first because Netflix doesn't have them. Get on that, Netflix. We need our hamster fix. Oh, I hit a potato. <laughs> you got catered. I like that little kitty space station there. It's cute. See ya! Alright, I'm in ninth now, friends. I feel like either I, either I have really good runs or really awful runs on stuff like this. Oh, I have the rainbow! Oh, the rainbow's like the star, I guess, because it... No, you know, no, it's like Bullet Bill because it puts you on rails. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Until you hit with a potato. Until I... Yeah. Imagine talking to the insurance company about that. Well, Miss Kitty... Let's get that dent in your front bumper. Space potato. Well. Floppy ears. Yeah. I like the ear physics. Oh, oh look at that. Uh, now, now, it, now it literally just is Diddy Kong Racing. Oh my god, it's so cute. Do you want to be... I'll be pink. Now it just literally is. It's so cute. Because we have a little inner tube racing. I like it. Oh, and now the sky is blood red. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, what what the art I've... direction we got going on here. Apocalyptic, obviously. Like... It's like Road Warrior, but with Hello Kitty. It's like they bought a bunch of assets in Unity and forgot to do backgrounds. Ooh. You know what the really crazy thing is? I mean, it's not so crazy, but... This was a $40 game. They had one copy of it at our local GameStop, and I had wanted it for a while because... Oh yeah, because I was like, oh, here you go. Right, you actually found it because I'd been talking about getting it. Getting it. But I don't actually have my own Switch yet. We just play errands. I'm going to get one when the new uh, Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu come out because I'm hoping they'll do a console bundle, like a limited edition Switch or something. But, um... I wanted to get this game now because I know if it gets rare, like the Wii U version did, I'll regret not having it. So I went ahead and got it early. But it was forty dollars, thirty nine ninety nine now. Thankfully, it wasn't like sixty. But yeah, it basically like that basically is just the definition of sunk cost. There, like it, it's n not exactly a reward that you're expecting to get out. It, I mean, it, I expect. I don't know what I expected. It's like the meme, you know. Are you in? F yeah, you're in first. Get I'm way in first. Yeah, I know. I figured. Good job, Aaron. On, you're on. a real winner at cruisers. Yep. It's a natural talent. Just pick up games, be good at them. Yeah. It's like much. the, the Mantine Surf all over again. Oh, I'm so salty about Mantine Surf. So I've been playing Mantine Surf, the mini game on Pokemon Ultra Moon, for um, I don't know. I guess a couple of a couple of days. Uh, no, I think I think it's been about three days. I was stuck on the, the master course, whatever it's called, the last one where you go from, like, Pony Island. And uh, Aaron picks it up, and within three runs, he's beaten the score and unlocked a surfing Pikachu. I was so mad. The, my favorite part about the whole entire story is where I refused to show you because I, I didn't want to make you upset, and you're just... <laughs> uh, and you don't want to show me because your score you, sucks. Yeah, you suck. And then I showed you, like, <laughs> no... No, that's not right. You were on the wrong course. That's not true. Right. I was like, oh, you must have clicked an easier one. Nope. He was like 500 points shy of beating it. And so I'm <laughs> And like, then the next one, I destroyed it. it. I was like, <laughs> I was yeah. like 25 points over it. I'm still mad about that. Because I like beating my own games and unlocking my own stuff. That's why I warned you about giving it to me. I know. Regretty. You won. Good job, Erin. Erin. Now I just gotta sit here and wait for you to actually beat it. Well, it, not when they keep using the stupid clock power-ups. Look, okay, so I'm Pom Pom. Look at the map right now. Look at how far Hello Kitty is behind me, and she's in third. Yeah, and then look at me. My my AI is lapping people. Why is Kuropi going backwards? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh. Oh my god, he is... He, I think he just passed me. <laughs> I think... Okay, we'll have to back up that footage and look at it, but I'm pretty sure he just passed me. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Did you see that? Oh. Yeah. Wow. 
And here, whenever I just I, fi this is rough. I finished my uh, my review into Jurassic World Evolution. Go yes. check that out, by the way. Shameless plug. Uh, I, I, I finished it just yesterday, and one of my biggest gripes that I hammered in, like, one of the final paragraphs of the review is that the AI in the game is absolute trash. Um, <laughs> it's, it's pretty awful. My biggest example would be um, most of the times that people were killed by dinosaurs in that game, it wasn't because they got devoured by a carnivore, it's because they ran into the dinosaur. They ran into it and just ragdolled. That's it. There was nothing. No animation whatsoever. They just went limp. That's so After funny. getting kicked in the face by a carnotaur or something. It was... Well, how else are you supposed to react? Um, well, I was hoping probably watch someone get devoured, because that happened a lot, and, um... Operation Genesis, but no, I was pretty solidly let down here. But I think I have now seen a game that takes the cake on worst AI. <gasps> Look at the Hello Kitty it's so... Ferris wheel, though. Yeah, but... Ferris wheels are redeeming quality. Yeah, but clearly the other racers are so stupid, they just They're go backwards. backwards. <laughs> like, I guess they got hit with Poor something. Karopi. I was like, I guess they got hit with something. Right, maybe that's a... Pa and just got Wait, spun... Wait, what? what? It just flashed on my screen that I was going the wrong way. And I'm like, oh. no. I don't know. We'd have to watch the. Oh, the pie again. bounces. Okay. I don't, I wouldn't know. I'm just really confused about my alarm clock right now. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. Oh yeah. Got it. So, Sanrio should probably stick to making plushies and pillows, and cute household decor. Because this is rough. Well, they didn't make it. I know. Uh, they licensed it. They just it. licensed it out. I know. It. It's Rising Star Games, I think. The little red star logo. Rising Star. Um. Yeah. Probably some guy they contracted from Newgrounds. Working out of the basement or something. Yeah. A weekend project. Oh, yeah. That is a Rising Star. You know what would be super cool? If you unlocked Dear Daniel... For those of you who don't know, Dear Daniel is Hello Kitty's boyfriend. He looks just like her, except for he doesn't wear a bow, and he has, like, a little suit on, I think. He's super cute. Hmm. <sighs> and can I... Let me file a complaint. Let this be known. I flipped open the Switch box right when we bought this game, and I was so bummed that there wasn't a manual. It's just like, nope, here's your little chip. Do you want to finish the tournament? Because I don't think we have too much left. <sighs> Yeah, we're at about 20 or something. Oh, don't do that. Oh, wait. Don't do that. Okay. Oh, cancel. yeah, cancel. <laughs> oh, it's because I hit B instead of A. Okay, Oops. so... I'm going to be the tube again. Uh, but I'll be the... Yeah, because after this, we'll call it quits. Because right. we're, we're getting pretty long just for a Hello Kitty Cruisers video. Hey, give the people what they want. I don't think anybody asked for this. I... Did. It was and just so something that we were having fun with. We're like, hey, you know, it's been a while since we did this. Maybe we revive a dead franchise. Yeah. Because, you know, well, franchise, like I say, we were successful with it. We did, like, four Sonic videos, and that's it about it. It was fun. We did them out of my dorm. Yeah, wow. That's just how long ago it was. And we, we didn't even finish it. No. We should revisit that. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying the structure of, you know review-based websites and, right. and not doing Let's Play. Let's Plays, everybody does them. But it's oversaturated. So, so doing reviews gives me something to do a little bit more of a personal yeah. touch and whatnot. And, uh, you know, hopefully if things pan out as intended, we'll have a nice video together, so. Yeah, excited for our next project. Which we were supposed to be doing, but instead now we're just playing Hello Kitty Cruisers. Mm. Things don't go as planned. Just remember, sometimes it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And right now the journey is going laps around with tiny little kitties with lousy physics. Yeah, you told me that you know he truly loves you whenever he plays Hello Kitty Cruisers with you. True. Is that lava on the beach? This really is just the apocalypse. Lava spilling over physics. And I'm just laughing. Is this like Baby Park and in the oh, Mario Kart, like, is it just, yeah, it's, it's basically just a circle. It's a, well, it's not a circle, it's a plus. It's cute. I don't care. I like it. Oh, stupid cones. Oh, there's cones everywhere. You know... The brake squealing. This just makes me laugh every Yeah, time. they just didn't even try. I'm gonna squeal on the finish line, maybe. Oh, yeah, there we go. 
Hey, here we go. Let's see what we unlocked next. Uh, oh, yep, there he oh, is. Yeah, we got Hang your dawn. Cinema roll is the last one. Look at how Choco Cat is so small. He's such a good boy. So cute. Well, let's look at my Melody's outfit. Oh. oh, well, never mind. Hey, that's a good place to call it anyway. Yep. Oops. All right, so this was actually pretty fun. I don't recommend that you go out and play it. Unless you really like Sanrio. Yeah, I, especially if you can find the Wii U one for pretty cheap, considering it's a rarity and, I guess, a collector's at this point. But the, uh, the game's nothing exactly to write home about. Uh, however, if you have a girlfriend who's really into Hello Kitty... <laughs> Suffice to say that it's 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 a fun enough time. I didn't want to pull my eyes out. I thought it was cute, but then again, I love Sanrio stuff, so. Tell them about your phone background right now, who it is. My phone background's Tuxedo Sam. It's so, Tuxedo Sam. Because he's, he's my favorite character. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, this this was fun. It was. Uh, I don't know if we'll be doing this anytime soon. But I hope you enjoy. Yep, and we'll see you soon. Check out GameAndBrowse.com. That's where most of our time is going right now. <laughs>